Ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday, June 11th, 2013. I am your host, Alex Jones, and we are going to be live here, Lord willing, for the next three hours. Wow, it is good to be back in studio here in Austin, Texas. By the grace of God, I was able to successfully transport over to the UK uh, and have the biggest victory ever against the Bilderberg Group and the entire criminal shadow government. The people controlling more and more of our destiny, the uh, organizations setting up the illegal spy grids, the organizations openly connected to massive narcotics trafficking, uh, the organizations openly uh, uh, financing our enslavement with our own tax money and enriching themselves with those private contracts out of government to do so. Absolutely amazing victory. Uh, and we have a big debate yesterday in Parliament with the Prime Minister admitting he may have broken the law going to the meeting. So that clip is coming up today. Uh, obviously, you have the NSA whistleblower contractor, Snowden. And you've got House Speaker Boehner and the Republicans uh, giving Obama right cover, fake right cover, uh, and saying this man is guilty of treason. No, Peter King of New York is guilty of treason. The Speaker of the House is guilty of treason. Uh, Boehner, they are all part of this giant illegal spy grid where Obama is also using this stuff against the Tea Party and against the free press. There has been a reign of terror against whistleblowers. This is a bipartisan criminal operation at the highest levels, and it gives them unfair trade advantage for the globalist corporations who are able to use all this data. There are over 800,000 declassified you know, on record, members uh, of, of, of private defense companies that have top secret or above clearances who can get into all this. We've had whistleblowers on using their names over the years. Last year, we're getting them back on. You know, who've worked in defense intelligence and say, look, I can dial in and listen to your phone anytime I want. I can go into your email right now. All of it has back doors built in. It's the Telecommunications Act of what, 1983 and then 1996. And then 2001, and they're always expanding it. It's all on record. It's all on record. And they only get the fake rubber stamp FISA court thing when they want to use something in a stupid kangaroo court prosecution. What blows me away is I've been following this so long that either some of the people on the news that are so-called experts are just whitewashing it or they're ignorant. Because... You know, I'm even looking at what this this whistleblower Snowden's putting out of what he knew with Verizon systems and you know billions of phone calls. It's actually much much worse than that. And the CIA director last year, Petraeus, at the time CIA director, bragged at a tech conference. Yeah, everything in your house is listening to you. Smart meters dial in. Quote your dishwasher's listening to you. Your cell phones have tracker chips. They dial in and listen when it's turned off. They've got keyword software. And by the way, the hackers today are countering all this with terrorist terms online. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not what will jam this up. Okay? You talk about the latest patent you're about to go for. You talk about a medical development. Uh, you talk about how you caught a congressman doing something illegal. That will give them so many headaches. Talk about how you're a whistleblower that's going to go public. I've got a big whistleblower coming on today that will expose that uh, Obama is trying to transfer nuclear weapons to Al-Qaeda. Ooh, boy. That right there will give them headaches for days. Talk about how you're going to try to stop a terror attack. They're running in a drill. That gets flagged. They're there to make sure the terrorists attack us. So you want to jam it. Talk about... Making sure we stop terrorists. <laughs> Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants, fruits, vegetables, nuts, you name it. 
And the globalists have been going after gardening. They've been harassing people that have gardens in their front yards or their backyards. They've called for licenses for people to have gardens because you can't trust prisoners in the police state America to be able to grow their own food. That's why I've come to the realization that we need to become self-sufficient. You need to be informed. You need to have the Second Amendment to protect yourself. You need to be politically active to wake up others. You need to filter your water. But you also need to plant a garden. Even if you live in an apartment, you can do this. If you live in the countryside, obviously you can do it on a grand scale. There are so many green belts in areas uh, that humans don't even visit uh, nearby cities and in suburbs where people are now more and more planting their own little private gardens and meadows and off the side of the road. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest of times. The ARC All-in-One Seed Kit contains 70 varieties of 50,000 seeds of fruits, vegetables, medicinal, and culinary herbs. All ARC seeds are heirloom. Each type is labeled and sealed separately for ease of use and longevity. The Deluxe Emergency Seed Bank combines three of Emergency Seed Bank's top sellers. The Family Survival Emergency Seed Bank, the Medicinal Herb Seeds Pack, and the Culinary Herb Seeds Pack. We also have starter varieties of the Deluxe Seed Packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, and medicinal herbs and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. A little seed can grow a huge tree that produces fruit for up to 50 years. We have the best life bombs. That's what these are. We have the best weapons against death out there at the lowest prices waiting for you to lovingly plant them and lovingly grow them and lovingly eat them and share them with others. We will strike back against the New World Order and this is only one more initiative in our fight against them. So please join us at InfoWarsShop.com or you can link through at InfoWars.com at the InfoWars Seed Center. I'm looking at having an NSA whistleblower on uh, in the next uh, few days. One that we actually had on last year but got no media attention that's really just as important as this current one. But I want to explain something to everybody here. And, and, and if you're a long-time listener, you know this. If you see my films, you know this. I told you 15 years ago, 16 years ago, exactly how the spying worked, who was doing it, and what was being set up. And that's because it's all public worldwide. I mean, your cable boxes had microphones in them 20 years ago listening to you. Uh, 10 years ago, TiVo systems were tracking everything you did, creating psychological algorithms. The Connect system in your house scans through your walls with the wireless internet field uh, down to how many freckles are on your face. They listen to every word you say. Uh, every new appliance from clock radios to, di to dishwashers and dryers to your smartphone is listening to you in live time, even when the phone's off. They have built-in little micro batteries and things so they can power them up whenever they need to. Uh, the entire society is organized by globalist criminals as part of a technocratic takeover. So, of course, you've got the Republican leadership coming out to give desperate right-wing, fake right-wing, kleptocrat cover to Obama and saying that Mr. Snowden, Edward Snowden, uh, is a, a treasonous traitor. Uh, they've got reports uh, with the uh, intelligence people saying he needs to be disappeared. Oh, kind of like the little kids get disappeared all over the world. Yeah, we know what you're into. Just like our government is caught shipping in the majority of narcotics, but then I fly into the country and went through four checkpoints in Dallas now. Four. Four checkpoints getting back into the U.S. and had the customs people with my passport saying, this expires in a year and a half. You need to get a new one. And I said, wow, you're really on a power trip. 
do you know who I am? Thinking she was persecuting me. And she goes, no. And I, and I said, well, is it illegal to have a passport that expires in a year and a half? Well, I just think you need to get a new one. Is there something wrong with this one? And she just sits there staring at me. It was like, you know, Janet Reno type. And then a pilot walks over and says, I just want to shake your hand. And they don't mess with the pilots too much because they'll throw fits and get back in their face. And then I was going through waiting for my reporter to come through. I was just down the hall, you know, towards the next checkpoint. And they're like, don't wait, get out of here. But it was, and I just watched them like just being rude to everybody. And then, and then we had to go back through TSA again. It was incredible. Back through TSA again now, after already a couple other layers. And it was just like out of South Park. Shoes off, passport open, show your ID, have it ready, get back, I told you. I'll walk over, the guy looks at me and goes, oh, go, go to the fast lane, right over there. And I was, I mean, th this country is in so much trouble. And I went over there and gave a whole speech about, not only are these body scanners giving you cancer, but these aren't properly shielded. I've had radiologists on who've come through with meters. These x-ray machines you're sitting at to x-ray the, the, the bags are high-powered, and you are going to die of cancer. And they're like, why are you giving us a problem? Like, like I go, hey, I'm not the one that ships the drugs in like the government or puts syphilis in the, in the vaccines for black men. And they're like, please, just go, go. And they go, we'll have to do the pat down, but just, uh, and the guy's like, I know the NSA spying on us. I know it's all crap. I just need this job. <sighs> By the way, a lot of us know what's going on. Don't be so hard on us. And those were all the nice ones. It was the head ones giving orders that were like, shoes off, photo open to the page. I told you, photo open to the page. And they were sitting there just obsessive compulsively. The guy looked just like the person we're showing on the TV screen of your prisonplanet.tv viewer. Exact same goatee. He looked exact, sounded just like that guy. Sir, shut up, sir. I mean, it was right out of the toilet safety police. And um, when I flew out to London from Austin, it was just through one checkpoint to Dallas on my connection around the plane to London. Um, the security was about a third the security theater, about a third uh, in London, what it is here. And I remember many years ago being over in Europe and thinking their security was worse than ours. Now it's less, and it's not real security. I'm going to explain something to everybody. They have got attack pieces, before I get to all this news, in, let's not exaggerate, 50 publications a day now. Bloomberg, Reuters, AP, Salon, uh, they, you know, reporters crawling through everything. I wouldn't be surprised if they aren't my garbage. And they are freaking out saying this guy is able to put stories out and get the media talking about it. He's got to be shut down. And they've got Bill O'Reilly, Glenn Beck, Rachel Maddow, people on CNN. Bloomberg has a piece out saying... Alex Jones doesn't build bombs, he builds bombers, and he needs to be shut down. A month-long investigative report, written like a high school writer wrote it, full of baloney and distortions and lies. My plane landed uh, in Dallas yesterday, and I got on it while I was waiting in line through the first big customs checkpoint. And I read it, and I couldn't believe the article. It was such distortion and lies. And then I saw a bunch of others, and, it, and I just realized th they're totally freaked out. And I've had a bunch of other articles saying this. They're going, don't listen to Alex Jones. Now with all the NSA stuff and the IRS persecution stuff and uh, the secret arrest stuff coming out, all this, he's really getting a lot of credibility. <clears throat> and media, we need to go after him. We need to, and, and, and by the way, he doesn't need to be on Sirius, and he doesn't need to be on AM and FM stations. It's horrible. Look, yeah, look at the Bloomberg headline. Alex Jones sells gold on Sirius with bombing conspiracies, and Paul Watson's got an article about it going up on Infowars.com the next hour, just, just countering some of the baloney. And again, why are they shooting at me politically? By the way, we hardly sell any gold. Gold is one of the smallest sponsorships we've got. Uh, unfortunately, I wish I could get more money and fund more stuff. We got a good gold sponsor, high quality, good prices. Uh, started promoting gold when it was 
you know, 300 bucks an ounce or less. You know, it's been up to almost 2,000, you know. It, yeah, I, I've never sold any of the gold I've bought or silver. Tried to promote silver when it was $5. Didn't sell any of the stuff I had when it went to 50. That was down to 30, didn't sell any of it. It's an emergency for collapsing society. But I only promote what I believe in. I mean, you hear my voice endorsing something, I believe in it. And they, they act like it's dirty. Bloomberg makes billions off his media empire, shoveling anti-gun, anti-family garbage, and that's okay. And then they said, give us your financial numbers. And I said, I'm only talking to you so I can expose you afterwards. She goes, oh, I'm your friend. I go, I know you're not my friend. You were assigned by top editors to do this piece. You have three reporters on this. Please, I can tell this is all a big joke. Uh, and, and I said, uh, I said, I'll tell you our financial stuff, but you have to quote me. And she said, we will. And they did not. I, I said to her, I said, we bring in about $7 million a year right now. And they were spending every bit of it. I have not been paid in about seven, eight months. It looks like I won't be paid for the year. And that's my goal is to put everything into this fight. I've got some you know, emergency backup money over the years to, to fund things for a few months if we got shut down or something. And I wish we had more of a backup. And I said, that's it. And she put, he rakes in for himself $7 million a year. Not that it's bad that I make money, but I'm proud of the fact that I, that I do this for the truth and risk my life. I mean, let me tell you, this is not fun, folks. Being demonized all over the place and lied about. And called a liar by a pack of liars. I mean, Bloomberg's a creepy gangster. Bloomberg and Silverstein have openly had their people come up to our reporters in New York on video. It's in my film, Truth Rising, and said, listen, we're going to say your camera's a bomb. We're going to put you in jail for 30 days, maybe longer. You're not allowed to have this demonstration. And we have the permits. We're here. And they said, look, with pipes... Guys going, listen here, as, uh, you know, guys in suits with pipes, talking like worse than good fellas. I mean, if they walked on a Hollywood set, they would have the job as the, as the, as the thugs. And then people like Luke Radowski, you know, getting death threaded at home, family getting death threaded, the kind of calls where they're listening to your phone line and tell you what you're talking about, he gets those. Okay. You know, you and your family are dead. And by the way, you know, uh, we're listening to you. You just said this earlier. Yeah, that's right. You know, those kind of calls. I mean, th th this is who runs the government. I mean, they can kill whoever they want all over the world. They love it. It's, it's a mafia. It's their country now. And this is the kind of stuff. Luke's been arrested for just asking Bloomberg a question. My reporters have been arrested. I mean, these are thugs. These are dirtbag gangsters. And I'm going head up against them. So we need your prayers first and foremost. And we need your monetary support because we need to expand in the face of this new world order. And we need you to spread the word about the broadcast. You know, if I'm going to risk my life, my name, my treasure, my family, everything, I'm going to do this 110%. And I am. And all I ask of the listeners is you support us, spreading the word 110%, and that my crew realize the position they're in. This is not a game. This is not a joke. This is the real deal. This is history happening right now because everything we've warned people about is now being revealed and they're in the process of trying to spin the whole thing. And we're going to break that down on the other side of this break. Stay with us. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what treason is. Treason is putting our military publicly under NATO command. Treason is allowing foreign governments access to all the NSA spy grids. Treason is, in the last really 40 years, putting snooping hubs uh, in all the telecommunications grids and now massively, massively upgrading all of those. That's what treason is. Treason is abolishing the Bill of Rights and Constitution. Treason is militarizing the police. Treason is selling weapon systems to this country's enemies. Treason is trying to open up all the borders in this country and putting foreigners on welfare and then using them as a voting block to destroy our Bill of Rights and Constitution. Treason is putting regulations in place designed to ship our jobs to China where the globalists have their major investments. Treason is not Edward Snowden making over $200,000 a year as a CIA technical uh, person and then going to work because they've, 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 they've privatized all this corruption. Tens of billions a year per major company in some cases. And there's just hundreds of these defense contractor companies to put in the L3 body scanners, billions of dollars, uh, sometimes hundreds of millions per city. Uh, I was reading where New York has dozens and dozens of anti-bomb robots. Some of them cost $10 million a piece. Austin just spent over $10 million for some robots. And, and it's all defense contractors taking over America and making us the enemy and saying we're doing it to fight Al-Qaeda. If you don't give up your rights, Al-Qaeda is going to kill you and kill your family when they run Al-Qaeda. They've always run Al-Qaeda. All these wars, all of it, it's just designed to transfer the economy into these globalist hands while destroying the real economy, while selectively enforcing taxes. And so when Boehner and uh, King and all these other congressmen, Republicans and Democrats, come out and say, arrest this guy, there's a Daily Mail article where they're talking about disappearing. They're saying, let's just kill him. That's exactly what Snowden is saying he'll try to do. He walked away from all of this. Because he said he doesn't want to live in a world where everything's surveilled and recorded. And then they sell this idea. I had a guy on the airplane next to me last night, flying back from Austin to Dallas. Now there's the headline, intelligence officials, not servants, overheard joking about how the NSA leaker should be disappeared after handling classified documents, handing them to the press. And so again, this is the system. What, who's going to watch the watchers? Who's going to control the big paramilitary grid? Google was created by them so it could publicly get you to opt into being surveilled. And then even when you choose to not let them surveil you, they break past your passcodes. They send out thousands of vehicles, robot vehicles now, in Europe and the United States, without, without even people driving them in some areas with antennas on the top, driving by with government passcodes to break into your computer. That's all now admitted. How long have I told you that? Now it's all admitted that Google and Verizon and Microsoft and Apple and all of them gave the government everything and, and, and under the specs built back doors into everything. Of course they did. Who gave Google its money to found? Who told the courts to let Google be above the law and no other tech company can do that? Look at, look at Apple with suicide nets around its factories, the worst factories in China, now replacing them with robots. Think about how they do all of this with the PRISM systems and others. They take everything you do and dump it into computers. And these hackers today, I'm going to get into this after the break, they're saying jam the networks with messages about terror attack, bombing, Al-Qaeda. That is not what jams it. Let me tell you what jams it. Yes, we have photos of the defense intelligence operatives that were there with the patsies in command of them on April 15th. And we're releasing that data. We're releasing that data today at 2 o'clock Central. Now, that will flag all the computers out there. Now, we don't actually have that. We already 
We already have that info. That already came out in the photos. That's why they say don't look at it. We already know there was a drill. That's why they say don't look. That's why they're so mad at us. Because they want to run their classic scripts, and we're here awake and staring, knowing their tricks. But you want to jam them. Talk about how you developed a new software program uh, that encrypts. Talk about how talk about how you've discovered that your bees can't be killed by Roundup. You'll be SWAT teamed within hours. If you try to save humanity, you'll be SWAT teamed. Our viewers have demanded it, so now you're going to get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an eye beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more. Coming in the month of June to the Infowar.